Hey everyone, Chris Fitch from the Woodsmith Shop here with Bob Mankey, Technical Service Manager from Tight Bond Glue. And Bob is here to talk a little bit about some problems with glue ups. Now, as woodworkers, we've all had a joint fail. So, Bob, what are the reasons why a glue joint would fail? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Um, you, you need to get the glue to the cellulose on the wood. It's mm -hmm. un unlike uh, common wisdom, it's not a mechanical bond. It is a chemical bond, kind of like the cellulose has little magnets on it. The glue also has magnets. So those, the glue has to flow onto the wood in a wet state as it bonds together and as the glue dries. So that's the objective of, of, of the gluing process. Ah. Okay, so what are some examples then of failed joints and how can we avoid this? So there's a couple of things. Let's say an oily wood. Okay. Um, the oil in the wood, uh, the tree does that to protect the cellulose from bugs and insects. Well, it also, that oil will also protect the cellulose from the glue itself also. So typically we need to remove that. Best way to do that is with acetone. Uh, wipe it with a clean rag until the clean rag comes back clean. And then get the glue on right away. That'll keep the oil from wanting to come back to the surface. Okay, nice clean joint, no oil. Nice clean joint. The other thing is burnishing. Okay. So burnishing is caused by tools overheating in the cutting process. Uh, what that can do is it can burn off those little magnets on the cellulose. And so the glue doesn't really have anything to bond to at that point in time. And so those joints can be weaker also. Okay, woodworkers, sharp blades, sharp router bits, no burnishing. Okay. The other part of that is sometimes the glue can dry a little bit too soon. So if you're using sometimes the, the faster glues and you've got a more complicated glue up, sometimes the glue can set beforehand. What can happen there is the glue doesn't have a chance to wet that piece of wood out as they come together and so therefore doesn't make good contact with that cellulose. So maybe we should use a slower setting glue and maybe plan our glue ups a little better. Yeah, uh, you can glue in, in stages. Um, or, like you said, move to maybe the extended versions or even the Type on 3 mm -hmm. uh, that will give you a longer working time. Okay. The other part, um, you want to take a look at if your wood is wet. Uh. So anything, if you're working with a water-based wood glue, anything above 17% moisture contact mm -hmm. is going to cause that glue to not dry. Um, so the, the wood has enough moisture at that point in time, doesn't want to take any out of the wood. So at, at that point in time, you've got to wait for the wood to dry. Mm -hmm. So anything Normally we do our testing at 8% moisture content, so anything above that is gonna cause that to slow the drying process down, which means you're gonna to need to leave it in the clamps longer. Anything lower than that is gonna cause that to set much faster. Now one problem I've had before is I've gone out to the garage in kind of cooler weather, glued some pieces of wood up, and they have literally fallen apart when I've taken the clamps off. And it's just a, a white chalky mess inside that joint. Yeah, and so every water-based wood glue is going to have what's called a chalk point. If you look under a microscope, there are basically little microscopic balls of plastic that float in water. Those balls of plastic have to melt together, and there's a temperature at which that it will do that. And each of the glues are different, type on two. If you look on the back of the bottle, we'll have a, a temperature, and this one is 55 degrees. If you really have a cold shop, our type on extend will go down to 40 degrees. Okay. Um, type on three, uh, 45. So, but you wanna make sure that not only is your shop at that temperature, mm -hmm but the wood is also. So if you pull the wood into your 75 degree shop and it's been in your garage at minus 20. Give it time. It's gonna mm -hmm. chalk up on you. So okay. give it time to warm up. In a lot of cases, 24 hours. That sounds good. Well, there is some great information about how to get good, solid joints from the people who know glue, Tightbond. Find more tips at tightbond.com.